will return to his Ruby Roam. Ah, I, I don't know what to feel about the Ruby Roam. Personally, I feel like a Franco is a lot better, but feels like they need that AOE. You want to hook as many yeah. people right into the real world manipulation. Well, I can see why the Ruby can work here, right? But honestly, look at their composition. There's a huge, huge hole or a weakness point in the back line with the Leslie. Yeah. I thought the Diggy was going to come through just to go and defend into that. What? What? Wait. It, it's not a Hayabusa, it's a Paquito here up mm. against RSG. It feels like with the Paquito pick, they feel they've already ha they already have enough backline threats yeah. towards RSG. So they pick up a Paquito, they can do a bit of both. But in the jungle, we haven't seen... Is this the first time a Paquito has been picked? Yeah, uh, I think so. I think no. this is the second time. This is the second, second time. time. The first time was picked by Blacklist exactly. yesterday. In the I jungle? Think. No. It, no, it's not, not in the, the jungle, jungle, in the AXP lane. Exactly. But this time around, it will be going into the jungle. Paquito wow. getting nerfed out of existence Wait. because of meta, but... Are we even sure that this will be a uh, jungle Paquito? It, it could looks be. like it. There you go. Well, it is. Right now, you can see it's... Uh, Jordan. Yeah, it's Jordan's actually playing it. So that will be a jungle wow. Paquito. Okay, so what they wanted to do is to uh, really get into the back. Let's have a one-hit combo, if that thing exists. Is it high way. and dry Paquito? It should yeah, be. Definitely. You want to you wanna eliminate the Leslie as soon as possible. You have your ways to close the gap. And you have a one-shot combo with your uh, ultimate to Welcome take out to the Leslie. Legends. And that also means that you can also dive with Papa Dog. So there's a lot of dive coming out from the side of... Um, of SA Onsei, they don't have a much peel for their Claude, but even the Claude, if you think about it, even the Claude is also a dive kind of hero, so it's all about dive for SA Onsei. Yep, it's all oh! about dive, but ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh Irwin. my god, Erwin! Oh, this oh. is not a good start for RSG! No. It's a horrible start for RSG! Bray did not use the Retribution and he has the Killing Spree. So Aww. this is going to be S11 who's going to be able to actually control the jungle for a bit early on. Erwin with the purple buff, it's, they're going to be able to dictate the early game. For sure. And definitely the turtle is going to be in favor of SA Onsi unless they like die multiple times. But knowing that there will be a level oh. disadvantage <laughs> for the Ling means that you forfeit the first two minutes of the game. Oh, if you are the side of RSG, this is really hard to watch. And not only just that, Jotun is on that hot and dry. You notice Paquito finds your back line. He's going to hurt like a truck. And right now, it's all about the side lanes. RSG needs to play around the side lanes as quickly as possible. Get that Leslie up into the late game. Get that Lapu Lapu up in the late game so that he can tank and peel for the team. Oh man, again, you know, you can already see the mid control here. The wave crawl, wave clear from S11 is going to be Bray. very good. And you can see already Bray. that's going to be no. Bray. Oh, oh, no. Erwin finds it. He catches him while he was jumping on the wall. Erwin has a personal, personal issue with Bray. And that's first blood over to S11. The pathing coming out from Erwin. He went from the pixel brush to the, the rock or the bush. And then going for the Kramer's push to really cut down where Bray was going for. They heard that Bray is going for the crab and they have punished Dooley. My goodness, Erwin. Uh -oh. RSG. No, is that turtle going down? Gonna be able to find it right now. Johnson gonna be able to get out as well. Erwin and Papa Dog onto 505. One more hit. Papa Dog's looking for it. Under the turret secures it. Two for zero. Jays, how you feeling? Man, S11 is selling on top of RSG, Merkel. Seriously, this has gone from worse to horrible for the side of RSG. I'm not going to sugarcoat it right now. Let's take a look at the items, Wolf. Oh, not only the items, like you're looking at the economy. If you are looking at comparing the junglers, 1.5k to 1.3k in the early stages, it's such a big dent in the economy of RSG SG. Speaking of dictating the early game right here, Chan was holding on to the rough waves there a bit too long. Baits out the flicker out from Lolzi, and maybe that's what they were going for. Not the kill, but to bait out a resource yep. to push RSG to a false sense of safety. But here, Erwin yeah. oh, doesn't oh, find it. Look at how S11 is dictating every part of that map. A wonderful start for S11, and of course, not only just that, right? Ling is practically like... They, it felt like, you know, he's playing with a handicap. S11 has like a five minute head start and RSG is in that big, big disadvantage. 1.2k at three minutes is really bad. Lossy getting a big cut. He is still going to be able to get out though. Maneuvers out of the breath of the ocean as well. 
S11 with a 1.3k gold oh, no. lead right now. Not really Let's gonna be trouble. able to get some more kills, but they will still be able to control the enemy side of the jungle. Five seconds for the purple buff, and that's exactly what S11 wants to look for. Jotun in position. Prey already on the purple buff. RSG with 505 rotating are looking to help Prey. But now it's gonna be Kai jumping in. Everyone's gonna be able to find a Tyrus Rage and the Flicker combo. In the back lines, though, it's gonna be RSG. We're able to turn it around. It's a two for zero. Papa Dowie has the world. Jumping in. Leave to Diablo. But will fall as well. In the end, it's a three for two. Making it a three for three. Ten. Not able to find baby cakes just yet though no damage not enough damage right there baby cakes will be able to limp away alive rg may have taken a bit of damage at least this time around ray does have that purple buff and will be going over to that turtle so that is one way of RG to climb this bank. However, S11 though, they've got Super Omega Burst yeah. already in the mid parts of the game. Good idea coming out from, uh, from S11 to invade the purple buff, but bad execution because RG were prepared for it and they went in too deep. S11 just really dove against RG, SG, duly punished by 505 with the ultimate. Uh, they were really under the strongest point for RG Singapore. Even after the big disadvantage when it comes to economy, you don't dive like that and already Mm -hmm. Essie this is a massive blunder. RG going back into gear number one. They need to slow it down, but they need to go hard. But Chan, flying 505. Not going to be able to find the kill just yet here. You can see for the M4 stats, win rate of first pick, 59.26%. That's pretty massive, right? And yeah. here, everyone's going to be able to actually find the Tyrant's Revenge and the Rage onto Lulz. He was able to flick her out, but Jotun's right there with a the knockout strike. Baby Cakes, perfectly timed to get Jotun off of him. But S11 have the pressure now in the gold lane. Baby Cakes gonna be sandwiched. Jotun already jumping in there. Just zoning down the members away. 505 forced to flicker. That's the high and dry doing work. Jotun not able to find the purple buff steal. And that's S11 who are able to actually get Kai into a winning lane in the gold lane up against this matchup. Exactly. The, the effect of that aggression coming up from S11 is that Kai is able to push a turret, make himself uh, farmed more than the, wow. the Nestle right now, about 300 gold ahead, and he's gonna get his yeah. golden staff, which means that his farming rate is gonna be um, exponentially better. Papa Dog, gotta be careful here, has everything to get out, and RSG have wasted a few resources to just get there now. Yeah, that's he's too slippery for RSG to catch right now, and don't forget, Diablo is also one of Benedetta, I mean, he knows. He knows how to give it up, but RSG right here. We notice how BBK is going in. Berserker is really going towards the endless battle as well. It's a very high damage build coming up from this Desi as well. But Erwin charging up. File 5 may be in danger. Oh man. 1.5k gold lead. Not the end of the world, right? Definitely not. But uh oh, Chan already. It's going into the enemy jungle. Brace looking for it. S11 are playing it really well now, oh taking it God. slow. Chan's gonna be revealed. Erwin jumps in. Lolzy in the top side and Baby oh, Cakes no. looking for a trade. But it's Kai who wins out and it's a disaster for RSD. S11 find two. Make it another with the turtle secured two. And RSD failed to find a trade. Erwin finds the Tyrant's Revenge. Not able to find the Tyrant's Rage. Oh my goodness. It's three at the turtle pit, two at the top side. Two cannot catch uh, the claw, and at the same time, RG skewed the attempts on that turtle. I think S11 managed to sandwich RG right into submission right there at the turtle, and also losing the bottom side turret as well. But let's take a look at the emblems, Wolf. Yeah, wow. Definitely the, the high and dry is gonna be the big problem for RG Singapore. You can see that he can burst down the Leslie as well as the Eve, or if not able to take out those squishy heroes, force out some of the battle spells. Oh no, Diablo Ooh. gonna be found. Not die for now. And another problem for RG SG is the the dive, right? Coming out from uh, from Argentina. You saw that in the last turtle fight. It's not even a fight because of the pokes that Papa Doug was able to do, as well as Chan just positioning himself so that he can burst down any of the members of RSG SG. Eventually, RSG Singapore will have to answer, and that means that their formation that they wanted to have oh! will be destroyed! Erwin with a play, and Kai with a follow-up. Under the turret is Papa Doug with a final blow. Bray's gonna fall. Lulzy is one. It's a three for one, and S11 only lose Erwin. It's an Omega Dive coming off MS-11, bloodthirsty. And then after that, translating into objectives and RSG right now is just leading not only just members, but also Ooh. map control. What a play! What a play! RSG Singapore 
they will feel very secure under their turret. But my oh my, Erwin is making a case for himself as no. one of the best setup tanks that nowhere. we have in M4. Whoa, my Marco, nowhere is safe for RG, but here we go. Oh my god. Papa Dog even against two. Forcing right away. Oh Chan finds the damage onto Lolzi. That's the frontliner taken down very low. He has to recall, and you can see the map control is gone. Absolutely gone for RSG. S11 has full map control. This is their map. This is hit their side of Land of Dawn. And that translates over to Lords. Multiple objectives as well. Bray and Papadol going at it again. RSG cannot even catch him at all. Erwin's feeling it. Erwin's feeling it as well as Chai looking at him. 2 and 0 with this Kadida. Positioned already very aggressively. Because he knows that there could be a follow up. Ooh. Anytime he makes the jump, we'll miss it for now. Kai gonna be able to get that blazing duet down. Ankara Kai, Diablo so low. Forced to use the bravest fighter defensively to get out. S11 are right now styling on RSG. Yep. This is bad. 505 already committed to the room of manipulation. This will be a third push coming out from Argentina. Because of that Kai aggression. A big ultimate was down for RG. Look at Erwin! Erwin finds the revenge and the rage onto Lol. He's gonna be taken very low, flickering out. Erwin now caught in the enemy base. Bray's gonna be able to jump in, but that's gonna be Erwin who flickers out. Once again, it's Chan jumping in, a zone to other black line away. Papa Dog with the final blow, getting back to safety. S11 unable to crack the base just yet. They're trying to defend RG, literally throwing every single utility, every single thing, every single ultimate they have in their pockets just to delay that push, but up. that is not the real push because the real push is this Lord that's marching top side menacingly against our SG. Let's see. The Lord is already munching on the top lane base turret. S11 not really going to go for anything too crazy here, knowing they still have an 8,000 gold lead. They decide to back off, play it defensively and disciplinedly. Now they wait. Oh, oh my god, no, they won't. No, they won't. Erwin How? finds another jump. And Bray is also asking that question. How is it that Erwin is always able to find these openings and Bray fights the dust four deaths for the Ling? It's really tough for RSG. Bray has no access to the purple buff at all. And Bray has no access to the jungle at all. The gold lead is going to gap even further as well. Lozi unable to land down on that. I'm offended. And Kai oh, no, going no, no, to no, backline. No. Guy melting down the back oh line, Chad! My finding goodness. the rough waves! Chad is gonna be able to jump in on the baby kicks! Finding another! No way! RSG have lost their back line! Their high ground defense! Jotun yeah, with no. knockout strike! Still able to actually get out before Bray jumps in! But the shielding comes in! Bray's gonna be taken low and that's gonna be the Tyrant's oh. revenge to lock him down! The I'm Offended's appeal is not gonna be enough as S11 march forward once again! It's a 3 for 2 They've cracked the top and bot base turrets open and they're looking for the mid lane. Diablo jumping in with Bravest Fighter but he does not have enough tankiness. Lolzy melted down, flickering out. Diablo getting out as well. S11 back off but RSG have lost two base turrets. Ooh. That's really tough to watch. RSG right there literally throwing every single thing, even a flicker just to get out of dodge. It is was Diablo buying for time for Baby Case to come back online just in time to try to push this off but then again a nightmare is going to get even worse because the Lord has spawned and RSG cannot afford to challenge this Lord. You can see that Chan is really styling on RSG Singapore. Going win in with Kai and even his oh ultimate, my. the Rathways, was able to catch one more additional member of RSG. And she, that's why they eventually got the double kill. And Papa now Dog. the conceal play, Erwin and Chan. Papa Dog as well, buying so much time for a scene. Oh no, Chan they got baby cakes! Baby cakes. That's the goal later down. Diablo finding stun, looking for more down! Oh Erwin with the flicker again! And kind of follow it up. Diablo's gonna fall. Lolzi's gonna fall. It's 4-4-1 four, four, for S11. Bray finally finding one, but S11 have wiped out the Singaporean champions. Just waiting for the Enhanced Lord to march down. 14 seconds on 505. Five seconds on Baby Cakes. The mini wave spawning once again. S11 just needs to get it rid, get rid of the mini waves right now, and it is all over. RSG have been knocked out of M4 by S11 Gaming. S11 Gaming, the Argentina fans surprise every single one in M4, and 